Robot as well as the Three, merch. You gotta two, love the fact that the team one, was thinking about fight, the branding and the merch for the fight. Robot pretty much right off the get. Such an important part of this competition. In so many ways, just building up that fan base, getting that support, getting that recognition. Now, I want to take a second. Oof. This shape that Grim Ripper is. attack it wasn't the usual yes. flip around and hit the side if maximizer wants this to work out well they need that very uh they need a lot of force behind their hips in order to land something that digs into that sloped side of grim ripper and really just hoping that those weapon to weapon impacts can go their way too yes I don't know a lot about Grim Ripper's weapon, but it certainly is nothing to shrug off. No, they've been doing some massive hits with that thing all day. Undercutter, especially when you've got wheels as big as Maximizers, it's a scary proposition. Nice pin there. Getting that wedge underneath Grim Ripper. They're gonna take seven seconds out of that pin. They're not going for the full pin, just enough to show the judges, get some control points. Kyle, Maximizer has entirely lost his weapon at this point. It's hard to say sometimes because it's such a high spinning uh, device. But it's gone. But it, You're it's right. sitting That's on the floor there. there on the right side of your screen. When did that happen? Oh, a few moments ago. Uh, but this is where the Maximizer design really uh, comes in clutch. You can see that wedge becomes a very viable strategy. Uh, it can push with its, you know, I don't know if that's the face or the butt, it's hard to say, uh, but it can do that all day long and it can win a fight that way. Yeah, the style and design, the Thagomizer style design, the idea is you come in with that wedge, you take the impact from the weapons, and then at the right moment, you pivot that back weapon into the side of your opponent, ripping off wheels, whipping off side armors, belts. Uh, it's an excellent idea, and it's something that really Jake Hoffman has mastered with this Maximizer design. Would you say he's maximized it? I would. He's absolutely maximized it. It's an incredibly effective robot, but yeah, even without a weapon right now, doing very well against Grim Ripper. This is also a robot that is, it is not easy to drive effectively. It's easy enough to drive, but if you really want to make the most of it, it takes a lot of practice. And I gotta say, Jake's driving in easy mode as we come down to the last seconds of the match. Without that big spinner on the back, you can really, really concentrate on being an effective wedge. You can see he's very happy with the performance. Yeah, even losing a weapon, he's very happy with that performance. Yeah, they have done so well. Um, congratulations to them. I mean.